Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Cancer for the month of July. And this is your month. So happy birthday to all of you Cancers out there. Uh, a little bit about myself. I am a clairsentient, which means that I read people. I can, um, through feelings, I can feel past, present, and future. So I can, if you're in a situation where you're not sure what's going on, I can feel what the other person feels. I can step into that person's energy and through what they feel, I can feel where the situation's going to go and pretty much how, like, uh, it's hard to explain, um, but I can feel um, through the person's energy and feelings, I can feel where a relationship is going to go and why they're doing the things that they're doing if they're you're feeling confused in a relationship, all right? Okay, this is just a general reading for all of you Cancers. So um, it's not going to resonate with everybody. If it does to some of you, I'm really happy about that. If not, go ahead and email me. My email will be at the bottom of the link and contact me and we can set up a private reading or I can even give you information on how a reading works. All right, I pulled three cards from the uh, Witch's Tarot and one card from the Romance Angels by Dorian Virtue. All right, usually if you email me, I will bet I will get back to you within 24 hours, if not immediately, and or I can have a reading to you at no later than 48 hours. All right, okay, so I've been reading people for a very long time and reading tarot for probably about seven years now. So I, um, reading people is where I shine. That's where I do my best work. I don't even need cards half the time. All right, so the very first card that I pulled here is the Queen of Cups. There you are. This is a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces woman. All right, she is very, um, uh, she's got a lot, of, a lot of kindness and understanding and unconditional love. Um, She's got emotional harmony and emotional aware of emotional undercurrents. So she's also empathetic. All right, this person, these people are usually highly psychic. They like to, they like the underdogs, and they're patient and calm. They're very nurturing and they're supportive and they're really lovely people. All right, they are. Um, very, very sensitive, but not very emotional. So because it's a general reading, it could be male or female. But here this card is representing you in this reading. All right. So you can see all the water. Um, the blue represents the blue chakra, which is communication. A lot of a lot of cancers have a hard time communicating. All right. That's where um, they feel, but they don't communicate. Okay. All right. So then the next card is the Emperor. This represents usually an Aries figure, most likely male, all right? Because you can see there's the ram on the side of his shoulder on his armor. These people are quite analytical. Um, the Emperor is sometimes insensitive to others. They're assertive. Uh, they, like, they like orderly chaos. They like to establish laws. Here you see he's looking after the children, you know? Um, they like to establish laws of family value. They take control of situations. They have very structured thoughts and they like to stick to the rules. All right. So you have these two people here. All right. The Aries man or Aries energy, male or female. And then we have the cancer energy. All right. Both of them are looking this way. Okay. So both of them pretty much. They're side to side. They have the same ambitions, the same goals. She's on the, this one is on the emotions. This is on the thought. So it can be a nice combination. Too much of one thing, two cancers together. No, no, that they're just too emotional. You know, two um, Aries together. It can be a fight on who's the leader here. All right. And then we have the last card, which is the moon. And the moon talks about being wrapped up here in your emotions. And feeling that you don't have a clear, rational view of the truth or matter. All right. This is the number one problem of these people here, these cancers. All right. They get too wrapped up in their emotions. All right. They get hurt very easily. And when they do, they go into their crab shell and they stay there until they're ready to come out. All right. There's no talking to them. They just want to be left alone. So sometimes this can represent a tricky love affair between these two, between two people. All right. Feeling confused, 
very feeling worried and apprehensive, but it talks about also trusting your intuition. All right. Sometimes by the light of the moon, you don't see all the facts, but trust your intuition. All right. This person can get themselves really wound up about uh, worry, apprehension, and um, losing touch with reality. Okay. But I feel all is good here. All right. Just don't get wrapped up in this. All right. It's about uh, self-deceit and illusions. So, so I feel in this reading though, it's like you get too wrapped up in your emotions and then you start to doubt your intuition in this matter here. Okay. All right. So don't let analyzing, overanalyzing be your second job. I know that for women, that's just natural. You know, it's your second job here. So, all right. And the last card that I pulled is is from uh, the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. All right. Okay. Kind of makes sense here. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt your intuition. Don't get wrapped up in your emotions because I feel all is good. You're both working to the same goals. You're both looking the same way. This guy's just a little bit too analytical. All right. Okay, so that is your reading. If you're interested in a private reading, like I said, email me and I will send you all the information. And um, I hope all of you Cancers have a wonderful July and I hope you have a happy birthday. All right, bye-bye.